high. I have carefully selected top four news making the rounds in Nigeria as of today, and I'll be doing my blunt analysis on each and every one of them. If you want to stick around to the end of the video, hit the subscribe button and let's get going. The first news is that federal government is coming out to explain the reason why there is increase in the budget of 2020 despite a drop in our revenue. And long story short, because they are saying that they want to spend money on infrastructure and uh, because of the pandemic they want to invest in some social projects doesn't mean that we have to spend more money and we are making less money. I don't want to know the explanation behind that. The economics that I understand is that you have to spend less when you are even making more, more money. So it's not that you are spending more and you are making less money. It doesn't make any sense to me and I'm still expecting a reasonable explanation behind the idea of spending more and making less money. The second news is that federal government has ordered power project contractors to go to site and resume their projects. Basically in order to increase or shoot up the distribution and generation of power to Nigerians. But fingers crossed we want to see how that will pan out because obviously we as I'm making this video, there's no power, and we hardly have up to eight hours power supply in a day of 24 hours. And I don't understand why, after trillions of naira that has been pumped into our power sector, we still don't enjoy stable or steady power supply. We have every reason to start doubting this statement. Also, long story short, we want a steady power supply, if not constant. And this seems to be a step in the right direction. If they actually make it happen. The third news is that Lagos State Government has sealed 33 religious centers and social facilities because they contravene or go against the COVID-19 guidelines. And it's very, very interesting because a lot of these religious houses, they are operating codedly or underground despite these um, COVID-19 guidelines. So we want to see um, seriousness in the efforts of enforcing these guidelines. So thumbs up to Lagos State Government. Fourth news, which is the last news I'm addressing for today, Lagos State Government is advising graduates to invest in acquiring skills that will provide new opportunities for them. And I'm wondering, why did they go to school to get a degree if actually they will still need to get some skills somewhere, to get opportunities somewhere? I don't understand what this rhetoric is all about. Because obviously our educational system has failed. A lot of graduates are half baked, or they are actually they actually went to school to waste their time, basically, because there is no educational impact in their lifestyle, and a lot of them have to depend on salary-paying jobs, which is also a rat race. So, if we have to look at the reality, it's it's not bad because you have to face reality and. Because you are not a graduate does not guarantee you a job and now you have to make sure that you put food on your table so you have to acquire new skills. That's all I have to say as far as today's news is concerned. If you have any other thing to talk about as far as today's news is concerned, feel free to drop your comment in the section down below and don't forget to subscribe so that you can get my latest videos. Thanks for watching.